my name is Robin Green. I'm the Refrigeration Product and Training Manager for FSW in the UK. And in this short video, I'm going to give you a quick, brief overview of the new test on 915i Smart Probe Thermometers. Okay, so on the desk in front of me, you can see uh, five different packages. Uh, in the middle is the thermometer kit that includes the Smart Probe, one Smart Probe and three different thermometers. And these either side, this one is the um, wired probe. This one is comes with a uh, surface touch probe. This is the air probe. And finally, you have the penetration probe. So just quickly, we're going to take a look at the 915i. And what a test will call in this, the 915i temperature kit. Nice little padded zip case and one of the things I noticed looking at this earlier was the fact that um, on this side obviously all the components are attached and stored in this side of the case okay but on the opposite side Testo have left you foam inserts for you to either remove or cut out to the size you want to store maybe other smart probes that you have if you have the eye pressure probe or something so nice little feature there little velcro strap to hold something uh, into the surface of it now in the little they always seem to do these little wallets that come in the smart probe case sets and inside the wallet you get three items you get a little um, lanyard or wrist strap there yeah which basically attaches through a little hole in the bottom of the uh, smart probe um, you loop it back on itself and then you've got a nice little safety wrist strap okay so that's the lanyard the other two items that come with it um, is the instructions and they're quite a nice um, uh, pictorial guide of how to do it there's not a lot to it to be honest with you but one of the key features on there which makes life easier and if I hold that closer to the camera for you you can see the little QR code which you scan uh, to download the new smart app so the new smart app replaces the two apps that Testo used to have whereby they had one for the refrigeration manifolds and one for the smart probe. So this new smart app replaces both those and is fully compatible with the old uh, model machines you might have. So download the, sorry, uh, delete the old app and, um, and download the new smart app and all your, the older style manifolds or smart probes will um, seamlessly work with the new smart app, okay? And we'll put that to one side. Now the other thing that's in the little wallet with it, which can tend to confuse some people, is that it's a calibration protocol, <coughs> excuse me, which is something we know it more in the UK as a certificate of conformity. Now the word calibration protocol confuses people because Testo, none of the Testo items and none of the products we sell at this FSW ever come with a calibration certificate unless you ask for it because it's quite expensive to have something calibrated on average anywhere between 75 and 100 pounds so if you need any of these smart probes that you buy to be calibrated then you need to ask us first and then we'll get we'll order the, the new one from Testo they'll put it into their labs they'll calibrate it give you a certificate which in fairness only lasts you for 12 months, but it is a proper calibration certificate. This can be confusing to some people, okay? But they put what they call a calibration protocol in with every item. And basically, from what I can gather, it's just to say that it's been, that all these items have been tested to their machine in the factory to this protocol, okay? Right, let's take a look at the crux of the matter. So in here, we have the 915i, I'll call it the body or the smart probe as such, yeah. This is the smart technology bit because, and I think the word smart obviously is what Tesla denote to be the items that talk to the app. So if you bought a refrigeration manifold, although it uses the smart app, it doesn't come under the smart technology range, I assume, because, you know, this is the smart bit that it talks to an app. It doesn't have a digital control, um, a digital display on there like most thermometers, okay. Um, on the top, you've got a, a little weird little knurled, um locking nut on the top let's take that closer into the to the camera to show you. you can see it opening 
and close in there okay so we take a probe out and in this probe we have these three probes here which is the penetration the surface and the air probe it does not include the um the wired probe okay which to be honest with you most of you would have anyway um so we've got the probes nice quality k probes and and on these you will notice that they've got rather a large k you can just make that out on the camera in the close-up camera there yeah um, and that makes life easier because the k always faces to the front so there's no ambiguity it's quite easy just to lock it in push it in nice firm touch turn the lock on and away to go and, and you can use the um, the smart probe or smart temperature probe okay we turn it on and initially it flashes um, orange and when it pairs with your um, uh, Android or iPhone um, when you've got the app open it will go to green and you know it's, it's paired up but I won't go into that that'll be for another video okay so easily um, and if you just to switch them off you hold there she goes she's off unplug and then you can quickly swap to let's go for the surface probe this time they all come with these little uh, neoprene or silicone protection covers. Again, face the key to the front, nice and quick, lock them into place, and um, you're away to go. You can start working because it's already, um, we'll assume it's already paired to the app. Okay. Now, one of the other things that I want to show you about this is that if you have existing K-probes, your existing K-probes will be compatible with the test on 915i. So I've got a standard wired K probe from another manufacturer. Most, most fridge guys will have these on, on the van, most AC guys. And there you go, you can see it there. Hold that up closer to you yeah, for the camera. Okay, standard probe, a little bit more fiddly. You've got to look for the larger pin on you, which is the negative side. And you can see the negative side in, in there on the camera. There you go. So face in front again, push it in. This time you can't use the knurled knob because it doesn't lock it. The knurled knob section is specific to the test or okay K probes. Okay, you can just see it on there where, if I hold it closer to the camera there, you can see the two little cutaways on the either side, which this little piece locks into. Quite why the necessity for tester to do that, I'm not sure. It doesn't really need it because these probes are quite firm to pull in and out. There's a, there's a good, um, it's a good, really good fit in to be fair. In fact, the older, uh, the non-Test OK probes actually are a little bit more of a, a tighter fit than the, the Test OK probes. And maybe that's why they wanted to put this locking um, nut on the top. Another little feature is there's a, a little magnet built into the battery cover on all the probes, which makes it quite handy really, because swap this out. If you were using this on a fridge cabinet, you put the open the door, put the, the sensor inside the fridge, and then you are uh, easily then you can lock that uh, or magnetize that onto the side of the fridge. Then the way to go. Pull that out. Okay. So another little touch that I want to show you that I thought was quite good actually is that when this comes initially, it has um, a little pull out plastic little bit stopping the batteries from connecting. So you simply just pull it out and away to go. Now. Surprisingly, they give you another set of three batteries in there um, as, as a spare, which is very unusual, but a nice little touch from Tesla, I've got to be honest. And we've got a decent quality um, battery cover here. It's not a click lock like on a, a TV remote control. You actually lift up the, the little silver stainless steel interlock and then you pull it out there. And then you've got the three batteries in there and one is hidden in the bottom. Okay, can you see that? So you've got one hidden in the bottom there, then the second one, and then the third one goes up and down in, and then you reverse the process, push him down, get the little click, can you see that? And you relock it, and then away to go. So initial, initial, my initial thoughts on the test on 915i, it's something that they've lacked in the range for, well, since the smart probe setup come out, because I know chiller engineers were desperate um, for the penetration probes, for the binder points to get some readings. And um, 
you know, it's it, it's something that's a great addition to the Tesco range. So, so well done to Tesco. Um, I think they've done a nice job of it. And as most of you will know, who've ever bought into the Smart Probe range, it's it's you know it's revolutionised the industry from uh, for both the fridge side and for the air conditioning engineers. There'll be more Testo products that I'll review and uh, and give you quick run throughs. And if you need anything else, if you need any specific reviews on any products, then um, send me a message through the YouTube channel, and I'll uh, endeavour to do the reviews for you. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.